How are you doing guys, Zara here, so today I wanted to go over all of the available trophies that are going to be within Final Fantasy 16. Now I want to mention that there are a total of 50 trophies, 1 Platinum, 3 Gold, 6 Silver and 40 Bronze. By the way I want to mention that I may butcher some of the names and I hope you will forgive me for that. The Chronicler, and thus did our journey end by getting all the trophies a Platinum Trophy. Awoken, Rise from the Reverie. With great power, inherit a power unknown. Acceptance, accept your fate. Lawless, defy your fate. Legacy, turn the corner. Twilight Rose, revisit the past. From stone to sand, exact revenge. Twin flame, unite the flames. The promise, become one. A vessel complete, collect the final piece. Ashes to ashes, escape the darkness. Failing star. Fulfill a legacy, it's actually a gold trophy. Punisher, punish 10 enemies excluding battles and Hall of Virtue. You're not the boss of me, defeat a boss without taking a damage. Made to be broken, defeat 20 enemies while semi-primed, excluding battles and Hall of Virtue. It's over 50,000, deal an enemy 50,000 damage while it's staggered, excluding battles and the Hall of Virtue and while fully primed as Ifrit. Shift. Land 50 shift strikes or shift shots combined, excluding the battles in Hall of Virtue. Packing heat. Execute and land two heat wave counters in a single battle, and once again excluding those in Hall of Virtue. Fatal attraction. Defeat five enemies in the air after using deadly embrace. Never coming down. Land gauche wicked wheel and rook's gambit in mid air before landing. I am the thunder. Discharge 50 blind justice lighting bolts. Road to redemption. Lure an enemy into striking a lightning rod three times before it dissipates. Untouchable. Land titanic block to defend off 10 enemy attacks. Bead rocking blocks. Land a third punch of titanic counter twice in a single battle. 100 mfps. I assume that means multiplayer first person shooter? Land 100 total hits with level 2 or higher Mega Flare. Such dodge, so mega. Execute a precision dodge 3 times while charging a single Mega Flare. Oh snap, inflict a permafrost on 10 enemies by perfectly dodging attacks with Cold Snap. Cold Blooded, simultaneously defeat 3 or more enemies frozen using Frostbite, Permafrost or Diamond Dust. Every damn sinew. Land a level 2 or higher Zante Suken 5 times. Fistful of Steel. Execute 3 steel counters in a single battle. Yes, Acons. Master all of the single Acons abilities and feats. Master Class. Upgrade all feats and abilities to their maximum. With 2 Ds. Upgrade consumable potency and in inventory slots to their maximum. And there opened up my mind. Collect 6 signboards. Think Mark, defeat 10 notorious marks. Hunter, hunted, clear the hunt board. Trial run, complete a chronolith trial for the horde. Obtain all curiosities. Dressed to the fives, craft or upgrade five pieces of gear. Half past twilight, craft a legendary sword. Gotter Damerung, the pen is mightier. Open 10 letters at the reading table. The more you know, Harpocrates attain a knowledge level of 5. Careful Whisper. Obtain all available items from your Patreons. You can pet the dog, pet Torgal, 5 times. A fine hound. Execute and land 5 precision 6. When you ride alone. Ride Ambrosida for the first time. Here be rose fields. Visit all areas in the world and local maps. Eureka. Spend 36,000 Jill at the tub and crown. And lastly, fantasy. Finally, complete the game on Final Fantasy mode. The first 12 trophies are based on the plot. There are also several combat trophies for using specific abilities. The following section of the list focuses on the collectibles by simply finding all of the signboards, 10 notorious marks, all hunt board quests, a chronolith trial, all curiosities, crafting, go to Damerung, 10 letters, all Patreon items, and all the world maps areas that you'll need to visit. Most notably, the last trophy description mentions the Final Fantasy mode, which probably means a hardest difficulty you'll require to complete the whole game. 
If it isn't unlocked from the start, this may necessitate of a second playthrough. There's also gold trophies for fully upgrading all of the abilities, which may be a little bit of a grind. Overall, we need to pretty much find everything and most of the collectible types, unlock all the combat abilities, and beat the game on the hardest difficulty. So it's kind of expected from Final Fantasy, at least to my knowledge. Well, alright, that's all there is to it. Like and subscribe, see you guys all later, and have a wonderful day.